In this video, I'm going to show you how to use existing client dataset data in TFD MemTable and how to edit data in TFD MemTable at design time. Here you can see we have a blank form with the Windows 10 style loaded to it. Now we're going to drag and drop the client dataset component onto our form. You could also use an existing application. And we're going to select the client dataset CDS files. In this case, we're going to select vendor.cds. Next, we're going to open up the Live Bindings Designer to bind our client dataset visually into the grid control. And you can see the grid is now populated with data from the client dataset. Then we're going to drag and drop the FD mem table component onto our form. We're going to right click that control and select Assign Dataset to assign the data from the client dataset to the FD mem table component. Now, optionally, we can also bind the grid control into the FD mem table component at this time. Next, we're going to select the FD mem table component and choose Save to File. This now allows us to save this as a JSON file. We're then going to delete the client dataset component and previous bindings. And we're going to clear our FD mem table component data. Next, we're going to select Load from File and browse to the new JSON file that we just saved. Then we're going to visually bind the grid component into the FD mem table component. This will establish the data binding and you can now see the grid component populated with data from the FD mem table component. We can now choose edit data set to change the data at design time. Now the data is changed at design time is also reflected at runtime. And this is a new FD mem table feature that we just introduced in the 10.2 release. At design time, I can now go in and change the contents of a field. So for example, I could change the vendor name underwater to vendor name underwater snorkel and dive. Then change the default column width to something larger. And at runtime here, you can see that the name change that we just made at design time is also reflected at runtime. 